In this video, we are gonna walk through how to do feeding tube dosage calculations for nursing school. We'll walk you through a simple step-by-step -step process to get feeding tube calculations right every single time on your nursing school exams. And of course, we have a full dosage calculations cheat sheet that walks you through this simple six-step process for getting dose calc questions right every single time. So don't worry, friend, <laughs> you don't need to figure everything out alone anymore for nursing school. We are here to walk you through it. And if you want to deep dive into this six step process, be sure to check out this video. Now our lead nurse on our team, Nicole, is going to walk you through these feeding tube practice problems. So hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell and let's dive in. All right, so let's get started talking about feeding calculations and how to solve those problems. So we're gonna follow our six steps we always follow. So step number one, figure out what you need. Step number two, figure out what is ordered. Step number three, decide what conversions you need. Step number four, solve. And then number five, check your answer. And number six, check your work. So let's get started with these three problems. We'll solve them together. And then you can run through the other problems in the practice workbook to help make sure you feel super confident on these types of problems. All right. Right, let's get started. Your patient is ordered for Peptamin to run continuously at 30 mLs per hour. You're preparing your patient's formula for the next 24 hours. How much Peptamin do you need to prepare? So how much do we need? That is what we are ordered. So how much Peptamin do you need? That is going to be a volume. So it's mLs. What we have ordered is it to be run at 30 mLs per hour for 24 hours. So we know we need to run it at 30 mLs per hour for 24 hours. Our conversions are gonna be 30 mLs per hour. And we know we need to get 24 hours. So we have another hour down here. We have 24 hours and we need mLs. So we are going to cross off our hours here and we're gonna get mLs. So 30 times 24 is going to be seven 20 and that is going to be our answer so again what we did we needed mls we had our conversions here so 30 mls per hour and we needed it for 24 hours so we were able to get 720 mls total is what we're going to need to prepare all right, let's go on down to number two. So the doctor orders glucerna, one can, 240 milliliters per can, to be diluted at a quarter strength and run at 100 mLs per hour. How long will it take for the feed to be completed? So let's start with step number one. What do we need? So we are going to need how long? So that is hours. And then let's talk about what the order is. The order is one can, or 240 mLs, to be diluted at a quarter strength and run for 100 mLs per hour. So 240 mLs run at a quarter strength times a, a, at 100 mLs per hour. So first step is we need to figure out what the total volume is so that we can make sure we know how much to run it at. So we are gonna do 240 mLs run at a quarter strength. So one quarter strength. We are going to do 240 at a quarter strength is gonna be 960 for our total volume. So this is our total volume that we're going to need for our patient. That is going to be 960 is the total volume run at a quarter strength. So it's the one can at a quarter strength gives us 960 for the total volume. Then we're going to need to run that 960 mLs. So 960 mLs at 100 mLs per hour. So we know we have 100 mLs per hour. To get this the right way, we have one hour is 100 mls. We're gonna be able to cross off our mls and we're gonna get one hour. So 960 divided by 100 is gonna be 9.6 hours. Now 0.6 hours is a little confusing, so we're gonna get that to minutes. In order to do that, we're gonna come on over here. So we have 0.6 hours and we need to get it to minutes. One hour equals 60 minutes. So we're gonna put our hour down here and our 60 minutes up here. That's going to cross off our hours and we're going to be left with 0.36 or 36 minutes. When you do 0 0.6 times 60, you get 36. So that's 36 minutes. So our total answer is going to be nine hours and 36 minutes. So that's going to be how long the feed will take. So we know we're answering our question. We did what we what was ordered 240 
at a quarter strength for 100 mLs per hour, and then what we how long it will take, so nine hours and 36 minutes. All right, let's do the last one. Your patient is ordered for one can, 240 mLs of Jevity 1.2 at three quarters strength to run over two hours. How fast will you set your feeding pump to run? So what do we need? How fast? So that's gonna be milliliters per hour, because that's our rate. So how fast? Milliliters per hour. Now let's get our convert our orders. So our order is gonna be one can or 240 mLs at three quarters strength in two hours. So 240 at three quarters strength, we need to find the total volume for that so that we can solve how long, how much is gonna go in in two hours. So 240 at three quarters strength. So we're gonna do our 240 times four divided by three equals 320 mLs total, total volume. And we need that 320 mLs total to run over two hours. So we're gonna do again 320 mLs over two hours. And it's gonna give us our milliliters per hour, which is what we need. So 320 divided by two is gonna be 160 milliliters per hour. So again, what we did, we found out what we needed, which was how fast, which is milliliters per hour. And then we found out what the order was. So 240 at three quarters strength in two hours. We got our total volume by doing 240 at three quarters strength equals 320 mLs, which is our total volume. And then we did our total volume over the rate. So we need 320 mLs over two hours, and that's gonna give us milliliters per hour. So 160 milliliters per hour. Now we have an exciting announcement to tell you about. We have a brand new dosage calculations course that we just released. It walks you through everything you'll need to know for your dose calc exam. Things like how to calculate IVs, how to do weight-based dosage calculations, reconstitution problems, heparin drip calculations, all of it. So if you're frustrated because you have to figure everything out yourself in nursing school, don't worry, we will teach you everything you need to know about dose calc in this course. The link is down below for you to check it out. Now like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with a friend and check out one of these videos right over here so you can keep rocking nursing school and go become the nurse that God created only you to be. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, friend. Bye-bye.